Is it running? I think it is. But it didn't go beep like it normally does to tell you when to record. But anyhow, this is Bear Year Day number 298. And today I've got from the Newstead Brewing, I've got the Out and About Pale Ale. It's 5.1% alcohol, 23 IBUs and 14 EBCs. Now, what's it reckon? Time was... The streets were unsavoury, between trams and the docks, plenty of danger abound, so hop right in for a bitter little stoush, <laughs> and things start to get dicey. Take it outside, gents. Ah, oh, there you go, they're having a bit of a punch up. So there we go, and what's, what's, what's it reckon? It's from Newstead in Queensland. Right, there we go. I think it's around Brisbane area. I don't know. It's in Queensland somewhere. But anyhow, Queensland's a big state. Bigger than Texas. In case all you Texas people, Texas washed out there. You could get nearly Texas one and a half times in Queensland or something. I don't know. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. We're here to drink fucking beer. Like Alderman Dodgett, this hoppy ale packs a gentleman punch. New World Hops kick this beer into gear with a pine needle um, bouquet. Uh, or banquet and a orange fruity palette that develops into a lingering but tally, t uh, tantalizing bitterness. That's a fun twist. I suck this on first. It's been a hot day. Nice hot spring day here in Australia. About 50 degrees Celsius. No money joking. Mmm. This smells of that. Like a real nice orange zest. Not too over um, acidic at the moment. That's what I'm picking up off the off, just off the smell. I don't think I've ever had Newstead before. No, I don't think I've ever had. Um, first taste, first swallow of their pale ale. Um, it certainly delivers like good shit. Like a session beer straight away. You, well, one mouthful, and if you like the beer after one mouthful, you're on something good. Yep. It's Got just a slight, like they say, like a little pine needle there. Slight um, orange yeast, I mean really, really slight. Got a real nice, um, like the ale taste, ale bitterness taste to it. But it's perfectly well um, round, rounded off. And that's what they say. What do they reckon? A, a tantalising bitterness. Now you can feel it just on the end of your tongue there. Still like tingling a, a little bit away. But it's not over bitter and it's not acidic. It's um, one of the probably the nicest bloody pale ales going around. If you see this here in Australia, fucking go grab yourself a carton. Or several, or a six pack, or just one drink. You won't be disappointed. I mean, it's not an overbearing pale ale. It's just a very, very fucking good ale. Not too fruity. It doesn't try to complicate things or anything like that. What, have we got any sediment on the bottom? Well, there's a little bit. Bugger all. Now the head, about a one finger head, carbonation's okay, and it's like a nice beautiful, uh, well, it's gold colour, what you'd expect. I could have probably um, had it a little bit colder, but it's still alright. This is definitely a, a must for all pale ale drinkers, I don't know, you could even have this on tap, easy, and it'd probably um, sell the house out. I mean, it's not over-aggressive, like Rebecca keeps saying, it's not over-aggressive in all the fruit flavours. It doesn't try to be an IPA when, it, when it's a pale ale. Um, and it's hard to pick up the orange yes there with a little pine needle in it, but you definitely know it's a, it's a nice pale ale. It's, it's a clean beer. It's not a, like a dry, crisp beer. It just leaves your palate still nice and moist and just clean. Beautiful. With that being said, I'd probably give that... Going to give it a four out of five. Probably got to go to get a five out of five. Maybe if there was just a tiny little bit more, just a tiny little bit more flavour in it, but definitely a four out of five. So not a bad start from. I think they had a whole range there. I think I've got a pale ale. I've got all, all different beers from them. So yeah, I'm glad I come across the old news, Newstead. That's enough of me raving on shite. I'm mean, gonna sit back and enjoy this beer. Yes, be kind to one another, and I'll be back here tomorrow, day 299, almost hitting the crack, big 300. I, best, I bet you people can't guess out there what beer I'm going to do for me 300th. Yeah, 
Well, righto. Take it easy, people. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Be kind one another.